Hi guys, Olga here. If you want to use a PSD mockup and you're not familiar with Photoshop, it may be difficult for you to get familiar with the Photoshop interface and to add your design on a mockup. So today I'm going to show you some basics. I'm using a more difficult mockup uh, to show you as more uh, basic options as needed so you can use it easier. All right, first of all, please make sure you're using the PSD file. So go to your mockup folder and please use this file here, not the JPEG, not the PNG, the PSD one. Drag and drop it in Photoshop or double click on the file and it will open in Photoshop. At the time this video is created, the full version of Photoshop is available for desktop, so please make sure you're using it on your desktop computer and not on iPad or something else. All right, then uh, we'll start with uh, something which is uh, most important for uh, the Photoshop interface, that's the layers panel. As Photoshop works with layers, you'll use this layers panel most of the time. It's situated somewhere on the right side, usually. If it's not there, uh, you can open it from Windows and then find layers. So this here should be checked. Now disappears. And now I'm going to open it. Layers, okay. You can drag and drop it here or here or here. You can try to fix it wherever it works best for you. It may also be not fixed, but I recommend if it's not fixed and if it looks this way, please expand it so we can see as much layers as you can and then drag and drop and fix it somewhere here. All right. That's all about the layers panel. Then we can begin using the mockup. Usually, if you download some of my mockups, you will find a white layer on the top of all the other layers. It's with red color to pay uh, to, to catch your attention, and it's called delete this layer. I'm only using it to, to reduce the file size. Uh, so it's not important, please delete it from the keyboard or from here, from this recycle bin, click yes, or just hide it here. All right, now you see the real mockup. Next step is working with the folders. Uh, you may have heard of the smart objects where you can add your design, but to find the smart object, you need to expand these folders. I'm organizing this complicated mockup in some folders. Uh, the main of them are three. They are called left tumbler, middle tumbler, and right tumbler. In front of the folder or group icon, you'll see this arrow. Please click on it and expand the folder. And now you can see the smart object layer. I'm adding also a color on it so it catches your attention. And then usually this folder is named double click to insert your design or it may be add your design or insert your design or something similar to this name. And the most important to recognize it is this small icon or small thumbnail for smart objects. All you need to open the smart object is to double click on this thumbnail here. So let's do it. Double click. And the smart object opens in a new file in Photoshop, as you can see here, layer blah 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 dot PSB. 
Here on this blank page, you need to drag and drop your design. So find your design. I have an example design here. Click on it, drag and drop to Photoshop and place it here. In this mode, you can scale your design. So you're in transformation mode now. From here, you can drag this arrow, scale the design until it fits and until you're happy with the result. You may need to use shift or out from the keyboard to keep the proportions. When you're ready, press enter to add the transformation. And now, as you're ready with the result, click file and save. The other option is to click from the keyboard control plus S if you're with Windows or command plus S if you're on Mac. Please remember to click save and not save us. This won't work for us now. So click save. And now go back to the main PSD file, which is this one, and see your design on the mockup. You're ready. All you need to do at the end is file and save us. So you save your mockup image as a JPEG or PNG file or wherever works for you. I'm going to choose this one. Save it. I'm choosing to save it to the maximum quality. Hit OK and you're done. Here is your mockup image ready to be uploaded to your shop. All right, guys, I hope this helps. See you in the next video. Bye.